Let's go. Hasty How farewell. The weather suddenly brightened up the second then it left. Ah. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's 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 foul, bro. <laughs> that's cool. Hey everyone, this is Kuro, and welcome back to another episode of Genshin Impact. Today we're going to be completing our hangouts. Uh, I have not completed all of them yet. I only did two of them, and I only did two parts of those two, so I am not nearly done with any of them. And uh, I thought for YouTube I would complete all of them, uh, and probably 100% everything else uh, that we have left to do. To show you guys here, I still have some achievements to work on, like this. Uh, reaching friendship 10. There's a whole bunch of stuff here. Th this might take a while for me, uh, but I'll I'll probably figure it out. And I believe this one is locked behind a daily commission, so I'll probably have to set my daily commissions back to Liyue if I want to get this. And then we have all of the realm layout stuff to do, which I completed mostly everything and everything else. So we are well on our way of 100%ing everything else in terms of achievements. Of course, this is also something that's locked behind commissions. Also, once again, I 100%ed everything else. There is nothing else for me to do. I did all the hidden quests here, there was like a hidden uh, ghost quest here that I had to do. There was a bunch of hidden stuff here as well, like speaking to the cat there. There's like a cat that you have to feed after you do the shrine for a couple days. There's still some hidden quest in Inazuma that I have not done since I am not done with the reputation system. There's like three quests that I have to do. That I have not unlocked and they're all locked behind daily commissions so I have to get lucky for that and I'm trying to complete that before I uh, like fully finish this area because this area is pretty much done I have no more chests to find in terms of open chests I found every like easy chest that is open I don't know about hidden chests there's probably some more hidden chests that I have not found but I do have about 250 electro sigils right now which means that i can already max out my soccer tree to level 50 when 2.3 does come out uh but back on track we're going to start with bennett's hangout we already started it so all we have to do is just go to monstad i'll see you guys there all right here we are and there's bennett oh it's you didn't think I'd be running into you here. <laughs> I guess it's my lucky day. Sure. How are your adventures going lately? Did you come here to get a new commission from Catherine or to get paid? No, I just came here to talk to you, bro. And where are you going after this? Bro, you've got a really exciting adventure lined up, huh? I'm going to just continue from where I started because I did not finish the ending that I was on. So I'm just going to pick every choice that I chose before. The name's Bennett. I'm your run-of-the-mill adventurer from Mondstadt. Oh, I'm talking too much, aren't I? I'm sorry. True, dude. I was just so excited to run into someone I admire so much. And, uh, maybe a little starstruck, too. <laughs> of course! You're the mysterious traveler, the hero who quelled the storm terror crisis, and the leader of your own adventure team to boot. I don't really have an adventure team. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I'm... Totally jealous of all your achievements. Crow's adventure team. <laughs> yeah. Wood's been spreading in adventurer circles for a long time now. Your adventure team shows up all over the continent. I don't know about that one, bro. <laughs> it might look like you're just handling a bunch of boring commissions. But then, as soon as something big goes down, you're always there. Mm, I, I, I honestly, I don't know about that one, man. Anyway, I just really envy you. You're sort of like the protagonist of this world or something. <laughs> That's because I am, bro. Me, on the other hand, I'm just some unlucky guy. My adventure team even... Yeah, it's too bad, man. You don't have anyone. Uh, never mind. I shouldn't get all down in the dumps in front of someone I admire. I should be open to see what I can learn. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask. What is it, bro? Um, when you go adventuring later, can I come and watch? 
he watched is just stand there and watch. Uh, maybe you don't know. I'm a really unlucky person to have around. I mean, listen, bro, I, I don't really need your help anyway. I can pretty much defeat everything on my own. As you guys may know, I'm not a meta player. I just use the characters that I like to use, which is why I'm using Yoimiya, Ganyu, Yula, and Barbara. Is that the best team in the world? Absolutely not. But that's the team that I want to use. If you brought me along on an adventure, my bad luck would probably just screw everything up. I don't want to get you into any trouble. So just let me watch from the sidelines. That'd be good enough for me. We could just do something else instead. Hmm? Something else? <laughs> what is that reaction? I guess you're right. Even just the chance to talk with you would be great too. Yeah, let's forget about adventuring for now. <laughs> Okay, bro. But, uh, what would we do instead? Let's go adventuring. Still. Apart from going on adventures, <laughs> the only other thing I do is take care of my dads in the Adventurer's Guild. So, I really can't think of anything else to do besides adventuring. Yep, let me think about it. Alright, I feel like whatever we do, as long as you're involved, it'll be totally worth it. Uh, but don't forget, I'll be bringing my bad luck with me true dude so it probably won't be a very fun trip <laughs> i mean who knows anything can happen so let's do i'm looking forward to i think i think we could choose i think this is like a different branch right here i'm not entirely sure we'll, we'll, we'll just go with what we had already really looking forward to hanging out with someone like me seems like the rumors are all true you really are a nice person able to bring people together <laughs> So, where are we going to go? Well, let's walk around in the wild. That's a good idea. For someone like me, I'm actually way more familiar with the wilderness than the city. Especially around Mondstadt. Of course, we're adventurers. I mean, I'm not on the same level as Fischl, who is also in the Adventurer's Guild. But that's expected, because she works in the Intelligence Department. Speaking of Fischl, did we actually... I don't think we met Fischl in the actual story yet. We did see Fischl in the 1.1 event, like, all the way back in 1.1, when they did that weird... The meteorites, or whatever it was. I don't... I don't remember exactly what it was, but I do know Fischl and Mona was part of that. And then we, we did see Scaramouche. Uh, anyway, I'm getting off topic. We have not seen Fischl in the story yet. I don't think so. Hopefully, that time does come. But anyway, we're dealing with Bennett here. Oh, I know this gorgeous place. It's sort of a dandelion-covered meadow. It's got a great Mondstadt feel. Do you want to check it out? Sure, bro. Let's go. Awesome. I was worried that it wouldn't be your thing. Why wouldn't that be my thing? Uh, shall we? Sure. Alright, let's go. Okay, go to the Dandelion Meadow. Seeing as we're going over there, uh, I can already see this going bad. <laughs> so this is the Dandelion Meadow you were talking about, right? Looking kind of weird now. Huh. Is this definitely the right place? Uh, what happened? It wasn't like this the last time I saw it. Did you come here in the last two years? The dandelions are all stripped bare of seeds. Was there a windstorm? Or did some strange creature come by? I'm so sorry. Bringing you all this way for only you to end up seeing nothing. It's fine. We still got to go out for a nice walk. Really? You're not just saying that because you don't want to hurt my feelings, are you? <laughs> my guy, we literally so came nice. out here to walk around in the wilderness. Well... There's not much reason to stay here anymore. But how about we take a walk around the area? Maybe we'll find something interesting. Alright, cool. Let's follow you, bro. Five precious chests. Something is weird about that. I, I don't know what that that's about. Hey, do you see that? There's a monster camp up ahead. I can see a whole load of treasure chests with no monsters guarding them. Yeah, it feels a bit off. I was hoping I'd get a chance to flex my muscles a bit. Where did all the monsters go? This is weird. 
I don't remember I don't remember exactly when I did this, but I do remember that those those precious chests weren't normal precious chests. Cause I went at it, I came to this area, and I saw all those chests there, and I'm like, why is there so many precious chests in one area? And then uh we'll we'll see what happens, but it is that was such a bait. For me, this kind of good fortune is super rare. It must be because you're here. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Ooh, I wonder what goodies are hidden in those chests. What does this actually give you, though? Ooh, One radish. Firework materials in here? Sorry, Yoimiya. You're gonna be disappointed. One cabbage, one radish. Why are these chests so empty? It looks like there's nothing good left in them. Yeah, we got one radish, two cabbage, two cabbages. Oh, this time we didn't get Mora. I think we got Mora the last time. But it was only like one Mora. Oh wait, this is one Mora. No, it's just a cabbage. What kind of chest are those? What the hell? Oh, we didn't miss any, right? Can't believe there is nothing good at all. Hmm? What's the problem? We got so much stuff today. We should be happy. How come you look so down? Why do we why do we need to be happy about that? Hmm? Chests are always like this, aren't they? No. A few loose mora, occasionally a cabbage, maybe a radish or something. Nope. A bit of mora and some ingredients to fill our stomachs? That's good enough for me. What kind of standards do you set yourself to, Bennett? The kind of chests you mentioned that have weapons, artifacts, or some other treasures inside? Aren't they super, super rare? They're pretty common. I've only seen them in places that are so dangerous you'd have to risk life and limb to get there. Uh... <laughs> Bennett? Uh, you, I think you need to, uh, do some training, bro. You need to do some training, bro. So that's how it is? Ugh... I actually thought this was the norm. Yeah, it was not the norm. I can't believe even chests are after me. Huh. Let's keep walking. Who knows when the monsters might return. Alright, let's go. Shall we? Sure. Honestly, I feel like to reach the ending of a certain ending, you know, per se. I don't think it's po I don't know if it's possible to keep all of your hearts. I feel like whatever I said there would have been bad. So who knows? But we'll see. It's so nice here. The breeze is so comforting. Really? I've been adventuring oh, alone I did for not a mean long to do that. time. It feels so nice to have company. Honestly, I miss it a lot. <laughs> God, I have heavy fingers. I'm I I'm apologize, guys. I don't mean to skip. I, I really don't mean to skip when that happens, okay? I, I really don't mean to skip. It just happens because my fingers are freaking heavy as hell. Oh, uh, not that I'm super lonely or anything. I've got my dads to keep me company when I'm not out adventuring. Actually, did I tell you about my dads already? You mentioned them, but you didn't go into detail. Back in the day, they were all great adventurers. They've got so many cool stories. They were the ones who rescued me from a perilous place when I was just a baby. And together, they raised me. Now, they're all old and frail. Some of them can't even walk by themselves anymore. So, it's my turn to take care of them. Nice, bro. I'd love to take you to meet them sometime. You'd be blown away by some of their stories. Sounds, sounds like there's a lot I can learn. Isn't that tough on you? Uh, sounds like there's a lot I can learn. Absolutely. I picked up most of my adventure expertise from them. They're incredible. Okay, so we got our heart back. So I'm I'm guessing you can I like listen, I don't know how hangouts work just yet. Cause I barely dove into this whole type of content yet, so I have no idea if certain choices are better or if certain choices have the same effect. I honestly don't know. I'm just picking what I'm picking. By the way, you did bring a wind glider with you today, right? 
The weather is so nice and the wind speed is perfect. Why don't we take the chance to go for a glide? Uh. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. What the hell? Wait, was that is that part of the hangout or is that actually happening now? <laughs> what happened to the weather? Uh, sorry. I didn't see this coming. Not to this extent at least. My guy almost got struck by lightning. Holy crap. Well, it seems that we'd better give up on that idea. Let's go do something else. Yeah, sure, bro. Bennett, so there you are. Hey, yo, it's Jack. Hi, Jack. Is something going on? Are you here to see me? Some of the older adventurers in the guild are really hurting from their arthritis again. It could be because of the humidity today. You mean my dad's? That's too bad. They'll need someone to take care of them. Well, you're the one who usually looks after them, right? They're all asking for you. Okay, I'll be right over. Uh, oh, wait. It's okay, this is important. Yeah, thanks for understanding. Though, I feel pretty bad leaving you here. It's alright, dude. I explore alone all the time. We'd better hurry back. They're and you almost got struck you. by lightning. <laughs> okay. Okay, sure. Well, I have to go now. Let me treat you to something next time. Sure, dude. Bye. Alright. And that's our first ending. I'm definitely saving that. Let's go. Hasty How farewell. Your mother suddenly brightened up the second Bennett left. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's 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 foul, bro. That's that's cruel. Bro, why do they have to do Bennett like that, bro? Come on, Mioyo. Why do you hate Bennett so much? You can't be doing this. Anyway, that is one ending done. I don't know how long that was, but so we can continue from one point and go to the end or we could do something else. And it seems every ending stems from the first one. So we're going to have to go back to the first one. Uh, but because we ended with five hearts, I think we did good. I don't know if there's like an achievement where you have to end on five hearts. I'm not entirely sure about that. I did hear something about that though, so if that is the case, we'll probably try to aim for that. We'll try our best, but we'll see. Let's continue playing from here. And since we already uh, heard all the dialogue, I'm probably just going to skip ahead to any of the different choices that we have and see what we can do from there. Okay, so we finally reached a point where we could branch off into another ending, it seems. The other ones were the same, like no matter what you chose, it was the same dialogue. So I think this one will be different. Really? I didn't mishear you, did I? No, you didn't. You mean, go adventure with you? Just like we do if I was on your adventure team? Yeah, sure, bro. Wow, I never thought I'd get an opportunity like this. I mean, you do get an opportunity to beat the spiral abyss for me, so... Bro, you've been helping me out for a while. Thank you, Bennett. Thank you. You've, you've been helping me out more than you think, bro. Come on, it's not as... <laughs> it's not... I'm not as great as you make out. Don't be so modest. I've heard all about the great things you've done. Not to mention the high praise you get from the Adventurer's Guild. Yeah, we go around slaying Healy Churls and all the idiotic enemies that we see around in the world. By the way, since we've got this rare chance to work together, let me share some recent intel with you. What recent intel? According to my friend Fischl in the guild, a mysterious and dangerous ruin has recently been discovered. Based on how the guild ranks the difficulty of its commissions, it's probably between a rank B and a rank A. It's probably very simple. Normally, I wouldn't feel confident about taking on this level of commission. After all, with my poor luck, it's safer for me to take on commissions that are a few notches lower than my actual ability. <laughs> But since you'll be joining me this time, it'll be a piece of cake, right? <laughs> Does defeating Storm Terror count as an S rank admission? <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, okay. I feel like the second choice is like a. That sounds like an insult. Of course! 
Defeating Storm Terror puts you on par with Guildmaster Cyrus in my mind. I don't know how stealing a holy liar is an S rank uh, commission. I don't know. That's that sounds kind of it sounds kind of sus, you know. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this ruin might be a dangerous one, but that usually means there'll be some great treasure hidden inside. I can't wait. Oh, uh, do you usually make some food before you set out on an adventure? Uh, no, but if you want to get me some food, sure thing, bro. Do it. You know what? We're going to take the benefit of the doubt and say I do. Hmm. The cautious choice. No wonder you're so good at this. Seems I really can learn a few things from you. <laughs> In that case, as per your tradition, let's get cooking. All right. Oh, yeah. I actually invented a pretty nice dish recently. What is it? I can't say it's super tasty, but I think it'd be perfect for an adventure. So, how about I show you how to make it? Wait, do we get in- do we get- We get- uh, we get recipes from these? I hope it's not a recipe that I already have. I- I have most of the recipes in the game already. Hopefully it's a new recipe. That would be actually sick if there was like, uh, a, a specific recipe locked behind the hangouts. That would actually be really cool. Uh, how about I fetch your ingredients and you cook? Uh, you know, what? yeah, sure, why not? Cool. I really miss that old feeling of working with a partner. The ingredients needed for this dish are mint, radish, and slime condensate. One of each, please. All right, I already have 50 billion of those, so I can give it to you right now. You got that right. I'll wait for you near the pot at Good Hunter. Come find me when you're done collecting. Yeah, I collected that. 20 billion times. Wait, what? Oh, I was about to say, dude, what? Wait. I'm like, you're gonna go to Good Hunter, but you're just still standing there. Do we just cook, or what? Can I, like... Uh... Wait, do we actually have to... What's going on? Oh, can I? T oh, I can talk to him now. It wasn't popping up before. You got them all. That's fantastic. You've really outdone yourself. <laughs> My guy. <laughs> it was not that difficult, dude. Also, seeing Yoi Mia talk to you instead of Lumine is that it's actually kind of interesting. Let's give you that, and give you that. Now that we've got our ingredients, allow me to handle the cooking. Sure thing, I wonder what it's gonna be. <laughs> it's done. That sound doesn't give me good feelings. I forgot the exact order you're supposed to add the ingredients in, but it should be alright. No, it should not. I'll pack it up and leave it with you until we get to the ruins. I feel like this dis <laughs> This dish reeks some misfortune. Uh, are you sure it's okay to eat? I think so. Should be pretty much basically the same as when I first came up with it, so, yep. <sighs> well, now that the food is ready, let's head for those mysterious ruins. So, oh god. What the hell is that? Like, you know those anime characters who try to cook for the first time because they like that guy? And then uh, it comes out looking like whatever that ominous dish was, because that that looked exactly like that type of dish that you would see in an anime. Honestly, this is really cool. They have like a whole domain thing that's specific to this hangout. That's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. All right, Bennett, what do we got to do here? It feels pretty ordinary here. I was expecting some kind of sense of impending doom. Yeah, I feel like I've been here twice already throughout the game. Could it be that because you're here with me, I'm feeling more at ease? <laughs> huh. It looks like the door in the front is closed and only the door behind us is open. True. That mechanism must be for opening the next door, right? <laughs> it's pretty much our only option. I think so. Right. Well, we're on the same page at least. True. I'll go try to operate it. I don't know if that's a good idea or a bad idea. Just as I expected. 
All right. Now the door behind us is closed. Ah, so it is. Aren't we supposed to progress forward? Hmm. A true adventurer can't just barge on forward. It's also <laughs> important to make sure there is a way back. That's what my dad's always say. All right. So can't we just use the mechanism again? Let me try the mechanism one more time. Wow. Exactly what I just said, Bennett. Hmm. It seems to be jammed. And, uh, not what I expected, but not exactly unexpected. This is not good. It seems that we can't get back the way we came. We don't need to, just proceed forward. But, don't let it get you down. This kind of thing happens all the time. We just have to believe that there's always a way out. What the? What's going on? What the? Who the hell? Who's that? Hey, did you hear that? Sounded like it came from the door up ahead of us. Could there be other people in the ruin too? Let's go check it out. What the hell? Okay, interesting. Over there! Another adventurer by the looks of it. Okay, I've never seen all of this before. We have to do a puzzle to get out of here? Hello, fellow adventurer. We, like you, are here to- Bennett? <laughs> uh, Royce? It's you! Oh no. Oh please, oh no, no, no. I'm so happy to see you again. How are you doing? I've been thinking about you and the other guild members a lot recently. This is the worst. <sighs> Why did I have to run into you? Wow, bro. That is so mean. Royce, you're disgusting, bro. Don't talk to Bennett like that. Oh. It took me forever to get this door open. Finally, I was about to advance further in, and all of a sudden, it closes again. Rips. Uh, I guess that's because I activated the mechanism just now. I knew it. I knew it. Of course it was you. I knew it as soon as I saw you. As long as you are around, no adventure can ever be a smooth ride. <sighs> My guy, if you very bad don't day. shut your mouth, I'm going to end you, bro. Who are you? And what the heck were you thinking teaming up with Bennett? Dude, I'm about... Dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to go off on this guy, bro. I cannot. Hey, don't fight. Don't fight. Let me introduce Royce. A former member of Benny's adventure team, and an old friend of mine. Let me guess, your bad luck has created some uh, toxicity in this friendship. Friend? I didn't even tell you I was leaving the team, and you still think of me as... Your friend? Ugh, never mind. I'm a little on edge because what just happened... I'm sorry. You better be sorry. Well, it was my fault. <laughs> You think? I left because at that time, I really couldn't stand it a second longer. My adventures always used to go off without a hitch. But after joining your adventure team, I was tripping and falling one day, getting struck by lightning the next. Oh, and the number of times ruins would cave in on us. Damn, bro. How are you alive right now? I just couldn't dismiss it as mere coincidence anymore. The last straw was when my left leg got hit by that random explosion that came out of nowhere. After that, I couldn't stand it anymore, both literally and figuratively. <sighs> so I left and went back to being an independent adventurer. Good choice, man. Only afterward did I start hearing the horror stories about Benny's adventure team. <sighs> Bennett didn't volunteer for this bad luck, so that's why you left him? You're right. I really shouldn't have put the blame on him like that. Yeah, you're very dumb for doing that. All right, all right. It's all in the past now. Talking about all the bad things that happened will only make you more upset, right? True. Um, Royce, I still want to say sorry for all the trouble I caused you. Oh. <sighs> no need to apologize to me. I have made my fair share of mistakes, too. Oh! Yeah, there's one more thing I need to tell you. The door we came through on the way in, 
also got closed. And I don't think we can get it open again. So we're probably trapped here now. What a pain in the butt. <laughs> uh, Bennett, we have a whole bunch of mechanisms in this room. I don't know if you've seen that on our way here. There's like four different buttons that we have to press. Uh, so let's not lose hope now because I think we still have a chance to get out of here. <sighs> Bennett! <laughs> Everything always goes wrong when I'm with you! I don't get it. This guy is like apologetic. He starts to show off his soft side and then now he's back to hating Bennett. Bro, I, I, like literally. <laughs> oh, well, there's nothing I can do. Sorry. <sighs> what am I gonna do? I've used up all my supplies already. This is it. This is how I go, isn't it? Here, today, and all because of Bennett. <laughs> well, I don't know what I could do to apologize. If you don't mind, maybe we can share some of our supplies with you. Uh, but of course, I'll have to check with my partner first. So, what do you think? This is, uh, we're, we're resorting to conclusion, like, we're jumping to conclusions here, and we're not even trying to find a way out first. Like, why don't we try do using the mechanisms in the room to try to get out first before we think about staying in here for longer periods of time, you know? Then we can discuss if we're going to be sharing supplies. Why am I going to be giving you supplies if we're going to get out, out of here in the next, like, 15 seconds? Uh, you cooked it. You can do whatever you want with it. <laughs> uh, honestly, I would say you don't owe him anything. Because he's being, like, really mean for no reason. Well, he does have a reason for it. That That's... He does have a reason for it. But it was because of my bad luck, though. This is why you should focus on yourself more. Uh, stop trying to accommodate others all the time. Uh, I don't know what... We could do that. So, you mean... As the unlucky one, I should think of myself more? You did nothing wrong, bro. <laughs> you do have a point there. It's just, I've been used to thinking this way for a long time. Hearing you say that, though, I feel like maybe I do need to take better care of myself. True, dude. Uh, I'm sorry, Royce. We'll have to keep the rest of our supplies for ourselves. But let's try to find a way out together. <laughs> Nobody cares about your supplies. Knowing you, they're probably cursed anyway. Wow, so you're saying my supplies are cursed? Bennett may be one thing, but I'm my own person. I have my own supplies, okay? Let's not do this. As we're finding the exit together, count me out. With Bennett around, I'm sure any exit I find will only be blocked. Well, then take care, Royce. You... You take care too, Bennett. This guy is such a jerk, bro. This guy is such a jerk, bro. I cannot. Okay, let's see. Let's activate this. That was so dangerous. Oh. It's just a laser. Okay. I can't believe it. It's a trap. Oh. Okay. Oh. Look here. What awful luck. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind, dude. I've checked every single nook and cranny in this place. Oh, still not a clue. I don't think you should be standing there, Bennett. I don't know if that's a wise choice, bro. I think you should, uh, you should, like, uh, take a step. Just walk towards the stairs real quick, like, under that laser. <laughs> Please, Bennett. Please. Is there really no way out of here apart from that broken mechanism? I'm afraid so. Well, guess our only hope now is to wait for help. The Adventurers Guild might notice our disappearance and send someone. Alright. Uh, I, I, I don't know if they'll do that, though. Then again, that depends on how lucky we are. If the rescue team takes too long to find us, we might already be... Dead? Oh... I hate feeling helpless, sitting here waiting for the end to come. You really have zero expectations when it comes to luck. Oh, yeah, 
I am being a bit too pessimistic. No, come on. This isn't like me. Okay, let's double check our supplies. Our priority right now is figuring out how long we can hold out. All right. Take out the dish I packed. Uh, it's probably a little late for this, but it looks kind of strange. Hmm. Is there really something wrong with my cooking? <laughs> uh, I hate to say I told you so. Uh, you might get food poisoning if you eat it. <laughs> I feel like... I'll just say hate to say I told you so, just because I feel like the other one would probably make me lose a heart. This one might make me lose a heart too, though, so... I don't know. I I honestly don't know. Ah, uh, this is bad. This is all we've got in terms of supplies. My guy, I have like 50 dishes of food in my inventory. I'm pretty sure we could survive for quite some time. I should have thought this through more. Hey, wait a minute. Ugh, maybe we can find another use for it. Like what? Long story short. I once got injured when I was in this severely dangerous place and I got knocked unconscious. I really thought that was going to be the end of me. But turns out that's not how it went. Instead, according to Guildmaster Cyrus who rescued me, after I lost consciousness, it was as if my bad luck just stopped affecting me. He took me back to Mondstadt without encountering any trouble at all along the way. And another time, I got knocked out in a field during a thunderstorm, but then I went the whole night without getting struck by lightning. Wait, so it's normal for you to get struck by lightning? Dude, how do you not have brain damage or something, bro? What? Wait, is like, are, are characters in this game just like, they're expected to survive against lightning? That's interesting. Okay. That honestly changed my- that changes my view on the characters and how this world is with certain natural disasters and certain storms and all of these things like- I wonder if my bad luck is related to whether I'm awake or not. Or in other words, it might be my consciousness that brings me bad luck. This is a bad idea, Bennett. Not really a sacrifice. I was just thinking- What, go to sleep? Maybe if I eat this strange dish, it's possible that I'll lose consciousness, right? <laughs> Bennett, a lot like this, bro. Once my bad luck is gone, surely help will be here soon. No way, that's just that's too <laughs> tragic, bro. It's okay. It's better than dragging you and Royce down with me. You made a great point earlier when you said that I should take better care of myself. But right now, this is a life or death situation. Hope you can understand. All right, bro. If you want to do it, by all means, go for it. Here goes. There's no way I can stop you now. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Wait, I didn't even get to save it. Wait, wait, game? Wait, game? Game? Uh... Hello? Can I, like, can I, can I save it? I can still save it! I can still save it! Let's go! I want to save all of these. I think all of these are really cool. There's two different options here. Okay, so we can get another two endings done here. This might be a quick one, though. And then there's another one here. Alright, so I think this episode was pretty good. We got to witness... Oh, wait, no, we did lose a heart. I don't know if that was inevitable or not. Okay, well... That's fine, I guess. I, I don't know what else we could have done there. But we re retained it here, at least, right? Anyway, uh, I think that episode was pretty good. Uh, we got quite a bit Fireworks done there. For now, but friends are forever. Should we join Mia? Uh, but yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Next time, we will complete two more endings of Bennett's Hangout. And if we have more time, we probably will just complete the rest of his Hangout uh, stuff, the uh, rest of the endings. But I think this episode was pretty good. We got to know Bennett a little bit more and how pretty much everyone hates him because of his terrible bad luck. Honestly, I feel bad for the guy, especially after witnessing that. That was brutal. Royce, I, I honestly, I, I hate that guy, bro. I, I really do hate that guy. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like, comment, 
and subscribe, and turn on notifications to be notified of any future uploads. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.